This is the Finderci DSO-152 portable digital oscilloscope. Uh, it's a pretty simple device, but I actually think that's good for being a low cost little tool. I don't think it needs to be overly complicated and it basically does exactly what an oscilloscope is supposed to do. Also, this probe is included in the pro version uh, and it makes it a lot more functional, especially if measuring anything over 40 volts. So if you're looking at household AC power, definitely uh, get the pro version that comes with the uh, 1X and 10X probe. So essentially an oscilloscope just graphs voltage over time. There's really all there is to it. Uh, down here we have some options. Essentially the options, all they really do is let you change the view. So right now it's set on five volts and that means each of these minor ticks is five volts. So five, 10, 15, 20. So we've got 20 volts positive and 20 volts negative uh, on the Y axis and on the X axis that's gonna be this interval right here. It's currently set at one second. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six ticks on the X axis. So essentially six seconds this way, six seconds this way. So this entire X axis here represents essentially 12 seconds of time. Uh, let me kind of hook this up to a nine volt battery and sort of show you what I'm talking about. So remember essentially on that screen, we're looking at uh, 12 seconds of history. So I've got my ground here connected to uh, the negative side of this nine volt battery. And as we touch it, we start seeing that voltage come across the screen. We can flip the two, put our ground on the positive side It's also really useful for looking at AC power to see what kind of sine wave you have. So now I've got it hooked up to my home's electrical. I've switched it over to AC mode. I've uh, changed the interval to five milliseconds and I've changed the Y axis grid lines to 100 volts. And there we see the pure sine wave coming out of my home's electrical outlet. And here it is showing that not all AC power is created equal. Uh, I have it hooked up to my Tacoma's in-bed inverter, letting us know that we've got a stepped wave, not pure sine. Other than changing our view, we don't really have a whole lot of options here. We can basically turn off our display by long pressing run. Uh, that will overlay actual voltage data. I tend to keep it off just because it gives me a little more of a, a clean display there. Um, we can set calibration up here. Do that by essentially shorting the probe and then uh, letting it register zero voltage. 